Hello everyone, it's uh, Armstrong Designs here. Um, pretty much today I'm just going to have a, a little tutorial about uh, Photoshop CS5 and uh, the new stuff that uh, the new tools it offers. So to start with, I just wanted to uh, show you the new selection. So what I'm first going to do is I just found this image here. I'm going to drag it into Photoshop. And that's here. Okay, now you can use select the turtle however you'd like, but what we want to do right now is select just the turtle. So what I like to do is just go with, go around with uh, magnetic lasso. So we're going to go around like this, and then once we have everything selected, then we are going to edit our selection so we get a better selection. And that's something that is uh, new for CS5. So let me do this really quick. All right, so that's the selection we have right now. You can see it's pretty bad. It's definitely nowhere, good, nowhere near good. So once you have that and you have the marching ants, just go and click Refine Edge. Now this will show you what you have selected so far, but then also what you can do is you play around with these tools here and the brush. Just move the brush size down a little bit depending on the picture and brush around where parts are missing or where you want parts to um, disappear from. And it will automatically select the pieces that you need or want. Just like that. You know, just play around a little bit. It's hard to get it perfect. So say that's that's your selection. That's what you want for your selection. Now what the best thing that I like to do is automatically put that selection into a new layer. So you go down to Output 2, and it should say Selection right now. Just click New Layer and click OK. Now what you have, it'll give you that layer with the background off. So I'll just go ahead and turn the background back on. And so that was just the re Refine Edge tool. Now what I'm going to show you is the Content Aware tool. So I'm first going to go and uh, I'm going to go back on the background layer and I'm just going to go get the regular lasso tool and I'm just going to get a general um, look, a general selection around the turtle. And what I'm going to show you now is the content aware, um, which is new for CS5. Um, and what this does is pretty much when you delete something, um, like we're about to delete this turtle, it'll automatically um, fill in um, what it would think that would be underneath the turtle. So once you have your selection, you press delete, and under use, it should say content aware. Just leave that there, and then just click OK. All right, now deselect, and go back to your background copy and just minimize that. And you see, you have a pretty good, um, it filled it in pretty well. Now you can still see a little bit of, uh, here, let me make this bigger, a little bit right around here. Um, it was still a little bit of the outline of the turtle. So what I'm gonna do is just go around that part again and click delete. Oops, sorry, go back. Go on your background layer, click delete, content aware, okay. Now deselect, and you've got a pretty good background. Now, you can turn the turtle back on, and as you can see, oops, a second, wrong layer. You can move the turtle around on the screen now. So, what I like to do is, once you do that, we could, uh, say we wanted to make a different background. We wanted to make a, like, a school of turtles swimming around in the ocean. So, make a couple couple um, copies of the turtle and uh, 
So we'll take this one here, make it a bit smaller. Take this one, same thing, make it smaller, even more smaller, like that. And then grab this last one here. So there you have a bunch of turtles swimming around. And what you can do next, which is another new thing for Photoshop CS5, is once you have, say that's exactly what you want, but you wanted to edit the colors to make them more vibrant or dull or whatever you want, there's a new tool. Just go up to Image, Adjustment, and HDR Toning. So you click on that. It'll ask if you want to flatten the image. Um, before you do this, you'll want to save your Photoshop file because this flattens all the layers, makes it so that there are no layers. So I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. And as you can see with the default settings, it automatically just brings out the color in this picture. And so once you do that, just play around with the glow and with the tone and detail. And uh, you can come up with some really, really good uh, lighting for this. So this is what I like to use. Once you've done that, you click OK. So what I'm going to do is just show you a quick before and after. So we have the before, which is just the one turtle in the middle. And with the kind of almost blurry background kind of thing, it's not very, uh, it's kind of boring. And what we did was we selected the turtle. Um, we deleted it, we made it into a new layer, deleted it from the regular background, and made a couple more copies, and then edited the image. So that's the before, and here's the after. One more time, before, and after. Thanks very much. Um, if you have any questions or any, you want me to do any more tutorials on CS5, just let me know. I'm going to do uh, another tutorial on uh, how to make 3D text because there's a really easy tool that's uh, new with CS5 as well. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.